All right, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Distracted. And as you can see, we are continuing on with this story. What I had to do is I had to go down to this place to get some documents. I found a fucking pickaxe, some shotgun ammo, dope, dope, and dope. And I want that. And what I did basically is I had to go go to this place, go to this place, get this key card, come down here, find the documents. Uh, I probably didn't add the beginning in there because of just how incredibly boring it was. But yeah, I was just running around doing the, uh, you know, the normal routine here. I really, really need to, uh, I really need so much more inventory space. Like it's so ridiculous. Got to find a mail tube now. Um, it's 90 meters away. Not too far. Yeah, but hopefully everybody enjoyed. Or if you did watch my other episodes, hopefully you all have been enjoying this season so far. Or this series, I should say. I've thoroughly been enjoying it. This is a pretty... Pretty cool game. Like, it's nothing crazy, but it's just a lot of fun. God damn, 11, 14,000? Jeez. Alright, I so said I got a new craftable blueprint. Documents received, volunteer. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll uh, get in touch with you later. Okay, I. He's okay. strange, that 400, isn't he? What? Who is this? And how are you communicating with me? Oh, don't bother with that. I'm here. Not in your radio. <laughs> You're a funny one. Who are you? I've got a weapon. Don't come one step closer. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. I'm gonna ask one more time. Who are you? And how are you talking to me in my head? Well, you. What I mean is, I am you. That is, you are me. In other words, I... Well, however the hell you want to put it, I'm inside you. The hell? A voice in my head? That's total crap. I must have inhaled something in that bunker. Yes, a voice in your head. I can read your thoughts, I know what you're thinking, and I can even change the world around you. Watch this! What the hell? What's Yo, wrong with my head? Damn it, what's going on? Who are you? And poof! My, my, that's enough of that. Seriously, what the hell is happening? Everything's fine, volunteer. <laughs> so what do you think about this 400? He seems a little strange to me. Nothing like a watcher. Didn't you hear how worried he was? Are you sure the conglomerate needed those documents? Or maybe he was the one who needed them? I have no freaking idea who needed those documents. I was completing a mission assigned by the Watcher. I'm more worried about hearing somebody talking in my head, someone I can't see. <laughs> well then, I suppose I'll shut up. For now, at least. Huh? You there? Hey. Nope, he's disconnected. Or disappeared, or dissolved, whatever. What the hell? I was using the radio after all. And what was with the red sky whales? I... I didn't I see any rest. sky whales. I clearly breathed something in. Time to talk with the Watcher. Tell him about what happened. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Watcher. Come in, Watcher. This is the volunteer. Please respond. 400. Yes. What is it? I... I don't even know how to explain this. Someone just spoke with me. For a moment it seemed like it was a voice in my head, but... The... That just can't be. It was... What did you say? A, a voice? The, the voice spoke with you too? What? Listen to me, volunteer. And do not interrupt. I don't have much time. The documents you sent me, they were a classified directive. It says that everything living on Greenwich Day must be eliminated. Or stranded on the island forever. Do you understand? Not really. My wife and daughter were there. I was officially informed that they perished in some kind of eruption, but these 
documents say they were sent to the laboratory as test subjects. I don't know if you've heard this by now, but they say that Lily, that little girl, became a ghost who takes revenge on anyone, everyone on the island. She suffers from the pain, from the injustice that made her that way. And that my wife, my dear Katya, dear God, and the voice. The voice said this was all true. Understand? He spoke to me too. I'm lost. I'm leaving, oh dear. I'm sorry. Working for these people is impossible now. And there are so many things I need to figure out. I must find the truth. <sighs> Farewell. What on earth's going on around here? What am I supposed to do now? <sighs> All right, take it easy. I gotta keep my calm. Damn, I need to think. That's it. I should get to the merchant. He's been on this island for a long time now, so... Maybe he can help explain things. Oh, I'm finally going fucking crazy. Okay. Alright, so I've been... I mentioned this in the first episode that I have played this game. And now we're reaching the point where... I don't know what's going on. So, this is pretty exciting. I'm definitely ready for this uh, storyline to... You know, be something new. But right now we're just gonna... Head over to the merchant because apparently he might have some insight as to why, like what's going on on the island. And we'll be able to free up some space, maybe craft some new weapons with all these uh, new recipes I have. I have tons, I was kind of looking through it while they were talking. And I know some of y'all probably don't care about the storyline and stuff like that but that is why I'm playing the game I like games with a good story it's been quite a while since I've you know played a game with a good story as well so I mean, if you don't like it then whatever like I do play other games and I have a, a couple other games in mind to be you know recording and they'll be a little bit more just survival based but this is like a survival horror game and it's got a pretty cool story I think so but I will get back with you guys after we talk to this guy all right okay so I just unlocked my first side quest from talking to this guy I didn't talk to him about the main quest yet but the, he, I did get a, a side quest from him. So that's pretty cool. I got some side quests. So if I wanted to, I could just go knock this out, come back, talk to him, and then continue on with the story after I quit getting like side quests. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. I'm going to see if this man has a radio, and I kind of doubt it. But does have some gunpowder for 360. I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Wait, how many of these can I buy? Come again. Is that you? We're up Sheets Creek. I was just told that they found a corpse on the territory of the garage in Sector A4, which might seem like nothing out of the ordinary. People die in Grinichni all the time, but this one's different. The circumstances are very, very curious. You should go there. Okay. Listen, Mikhail, I've got a big problem. I don't even know how to explain it. <sighs> you don't look so good. Just tell me whatever it is. Gernichi Island is full of strange things. I doubt you'll surprise me. Yesterday, after I completed the latest mission, I think... Maybe I drank something or breathed something in. Some kind of voice started talking to me. 
What kind of voice? It was like a voice in my head. No, I wasn't drinking, didn't shoot up on anything, but my watcher said he heard the same voice. I've heard about that before. I had this partner once. He was a friend, too. Sergei. We worked together here before it all happened. Well, once he came over and we had a drink and a chat, he started going on about some voice. A voice he'd been hearing. After that day, I never saw him again. But he has been seen here around the island. Who knows where? How about you try and find him? Where do I start looking? I don't know where he is. But he lived up at Gornitisk. That's up in Sector C1. Pretty far north of here. My other acquaintances told me he covered his whole place with writing everywhere. Oh, right. His house was number two. If Sergei is still alive, see if you can ask him. But if not, look for any scraps of paper. Maybe he kept a journal or something. Also, can I ask you a favor? Huh? Yeah, uh, of course. Tell me whether he's alive or not. Of course I will, Uncle Misha, of course. Damn. Imagine dying right outside the gate. Dang. These guys got like... Oh my god, look at all this. Wild. Holy shit. This is right outside the gate? Y'all fucking wild. Oh, I stopped recording for like five seconds I and already something's you. jumping out at me. Where are you? <laughs> Jeez, I love this thing. So I'm going to keep searching like everywhere until I find nice a radio because right now that's like such a big thing right now for me. If I can be able to craft my own weapons, like with mods and everything, it would just help out so much. Oh, and speak of the devil, I just unlocked the improved pack. Okay, so thick leather and polymer cloth and a workbench, man. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so I absolutely need to find a radio fuck me dude what the fuck jeez. oh jeez that's one thing i like about this game it keeps you on your toes with these anomalies like or else i would just be running around everywhere you know just haul an ass, just go, 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 not giving a fuck, and then next thing you know, like, on this I have all these anomalies, like, I just had to weave in between all those anomalies, or else I would have taken, you know, took some damage. It wouldn't have been bad, or, like, For detrimental. Sake. Oh, shit. Uh, someone really enjoyed themselves. You have the wrong number. I'm standing in the building that I've adapted for my experiments. That's right. Did you do this? No manners at all. Like I'm a bad little puppy. Are you gonna rub my nose in it? What? Did your parents punish you a lot as a kid? No. What? What are you talking about? You know, there's a parent inside each of us, and the former often leaves us with scripts, psychological ones, and we play them out for the rest of our lives. That phrase sounds like it was straight out of one of those scripts. <laughs> There's nothing to laugh about. Did you kill this man? Do you understand that that's a crime? It's an experiment, you Philistine. And as of this moment, you are part of it. What crime are you talking about anyway? Do you understand what kind of world you're in? An ideal one! I can work and create and create and create without 
the people who have locked me in chains and called me abnormal, a psychopath, a madman! But I have lost you, I'm sure. Why don't we start off with something simple? I want to, shall we say, weed out those who may introduce an error or imprecision in my research. There's a cipher on the wall. It will tell you where to find the next subject. Subject? Fuck. Hello? Subject. Dot Could dash, dot 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 dot. I don't know Morse code, bro. Come on. Is it that? Uh, find the next crime scene. Answer the call. Alright, so I was able to... Put on the blood sucker on this like bat thing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and unequip that. We're gonna equip that. And we're gonna give this a go. As soon as I get out of here. And I found a traitor. Really? That's all I had to do? I like jumped all the way over this thing. Yeah, basically, we're just trying to see and figure out if uh, it's worth, like, going out and actually buying and finding all these different parts for the uh, mods. Man, I... Oh, <gasps> Yo, oh, no, 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 no. These things fucking moved. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It's... Oh, my God. Alright, so basically what happened is we found out where it was by... We found the next scene of the murder by going to the radio tower, which uh, I believe was south of the location we found the first one at. And it revealed the location to us after searching all... Like basically that whole day and whole night. So I basically looked around for like an hour and a half, two hours. Um, and I finally found it. Now we have to search the crime scene for clues. And I really apologize, but my... My computer ended up crashing. Uh, something happened. I was, like, messing with my settings, and I think I might have, uh... Went a little too far... With some things, but... You know, it's whatever. Not gonna let me let it get me down, but it just really sucks that I missed that part. All right, I found it. It was a piece of it was a note on the table. Like, geez, can't talk. I mean, we already knew that, but all right. So apparently, we're going to sector B five. You so. sick bastard. I totally agree, my guy. So it's basically, we're going back to the stadium. Jesus Christ. Nice. An armored box. Let's see what we get. Oh. Okay. Another falcon. Uh, a, a comma and some canned rabbit. All perfectly useful things that I'm kind of full up on. Um, Jesus, don't you, don't you go anywhere. I'm gonna get to you. Okay. Got it. Got to do my snooping. All right. I think that was it. Hello. Listen here. Just tell me where you are, and we can discuss your experiments, problems, and thoughts face to face. I'll find you. You hear me, you monster? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. What's your problem? Where the hell are you? It's still too early to tell you that. But there's something I can tell you. Sector C5. Run. It's good for you. <laughs> C5. He said run! Oh, wait. So that means I'm gonna walk. If you haven't seen all my other videos, 
please go back, check them out. The story's pretty cool. Um, I, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, I forgot I gotta hold it. I've been running around this whole time and I almost forgot how to run. Jesus. Oh my god. Ooh. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was epic. Yo, what am I... A chisel. Again, more switches that don't fuck me, dude. You're a slow one. You know, if everyone understood that they are animals, they would eat you first. I've had it with your games. Where are you? The wall. What wall? The final obstacle is on the wall. See you soon. <sighs> more riddles. Well, I hope it ends soon. On the wall. That? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Come on. Thank God I found a radio. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Man, fuck this quest. So I'm gonna I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go build me a thing and just make a bunch of badass weapons now. Oh, quick travel, what? But yeah, like, just go back and rewatch them if uh, you want to know what's going on, stuff like that. And I have all these things in here that I can inspect. Holy fuck. I saw, dude. <laughs> What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't see anything, but I hear it. Oh my fucking god, what is that? What the f I think this thing's trying to hit me from up, like... A floor up! Oh my god, you fucking piece of shit. It's this fucking guy. Hit him! Ah! Oh shit, bitch! Yeah, I'm like... Oh my god, my guy is going insane right now. Trauma. All right. What the fuck? And analgesic. Whoa, that thing's dope. All right. Honestly, as far as I'm concerned, we are done with this place. Just. Oh my god. Let me out. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't ready to get the fuck out of here. Like, this, that was a fucking creepy ass place. But, okay. Anyways, so, what? like I was saying, he said it was a quarry. This right here looks like kind of a quarry. But the thing is, is on this map, there's no defining lines. Like, there's colors of a map. And basically, it's like... Black is man-made, so it's kind of got that. Red is, like, main roads and stuff like that. Like, there's different colors for, like, for maps. And then there's also different lines that show, like, hill, valley, ridge, saddle, depressions. There's all kinds of, like, tiny little lines on a map that show you these things. And I don't see any defining lines to show, like, a big depression, which is what we would be looking for essentially so there's this right here that looks like it could be a quarry 
That also could be something, but I think that's water. Uh, I think it's either that or maybe over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to this radio tower from where I'm at. We're going to go through the hospital again. And then we will just have to, you know, just check it out on our way. So I'm using the marker as a waypoint to kind of... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, yes! Well, okay, scratch that whole fucking nerdy explanation I just gave you all. We, f we just found it. Oh my god. Now to find the place with the tech and the drawing, yes. You're fucking... <laughs> I swear to god that wasn't... I, used to... I just unlocked this place. Oh, that's so hilarious. <laughs> Shit. Oh, how did I fuck that up? Alright, so this is the entrance. We're gonna go in here and I swear to God, uh, we are gonna, I'm gonna use a shotgun. We got 10 rounds on it, you know? Let's splurge a little bit here. There's curtains for you, creep. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Run, motherfucker, run! Great stuff, buddy! What a good friend! A brother, even! A blood brother! Didn't I tell you that you and I were the same? From the moment I heard the first quiver of rage in your voice, the first inkling of hatred for me, I knew that you were just like me. I'm nothing like you. Who was that? Who was the man? He was Prey. Another animal following the tracks and participating in the experiment. I told him that he had to fight for something valuable here. I don't know if he realized I was referring to his life. In any case, it doesn't matter now. Because he was weaker, and you won! And you were the stronger animal! I will find you. I doubt it. You know, the whole reason for my existence on this island was to prove what I've just proven. So, toodaloo. Oh, shit. What's happening with these people? It's insane. Alright, guys. So, that's going to be the end of this third episode super happy i'm actually pretty proud of myself that i've been able to stick with it i know like everybody watches like these bigger youtubers and they stick with these things uh, like you know they're always producing all these series well i don't have a lot of time i work full time so this is actually really exciting that i'm actually starting to get into the swing of things i know i used to do it back in the day but this is just like really um i'm just really proud of myself and hopefully you all enjoyed this if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe if you want to see more obviously you know all that stuff we hear it a million times so if you want to be supportive just do one of those three things and we'll see you in the next one don't forget to leave a comment down below with anything like improvements or suggestions on scary survival games i can always try and make something work so uh yep i'll see you on the fourth one all right peace